The US is planning to help modernize the Ukrainian army by supplying it with left tower transport vehicles that saw conflict in Afghanistan. Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Nolan said during a roundtable discussion with foreign journalists. Earlier, US President Barack Obama has signed the Ukraine Freedom Support Act, providing lethal military aid to Ukraine and imposing additional sanctions on Russia. Discrimination of Crimeans and Sevastopol residents on the part of the European Union for politicized reasons is inadmissible, the Russian Foreign Ministry said Thursday in connection with the European Council decision on Crimea and Sevastopol. Brussels should realize that Crimea and Sevastopol are an integral part of the Russian Federation, the ministry said. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has ordered his government to switch US dollars and euros in trading with Russia. Lukashenko said at the cabinet session in Minsk on December 18 that a task has been defined, which is to switch to dollars in trade with Russia, the way we pay for energy. Lukashenko added that Belarus should have already demanded all payments from Russia in dollars and euros only. Same time, Eldor Psaka of U.S. Department of State Jim Psaki in a last press statement said that Belarusian government launched a repressive crackdown on civil society, independent media and the democratic opposition four years ago. Honoring these values in particular important in light of the upcoming 2015 presidential elections, said in statement. Seems Belarusian President Lukashenko forgot how the real friends in this geopolitical game. This way he easy can to wait the U.S. back Maidan in Minsk in 2015. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.